Hi everybody, this is Solar Girl. I thought I would show you my system today. So you're going to test it, see how you like it, maybe if it be something for you. Anyway, this section here with the smaller panels was the one I bought first for my well system. I bought it from greengardenchicken.com. It works perfect for my well system. And I have water all year long on this. I also run my water heater on it. But it was taking a bit too much power, mostly because our water heater was messing up. So we took the water heater off and put the washing machine on it instead. So washing machine and well pump. This system, the rest of it here, is for the rest of my house. These are Canadian solar solar panels. Also got this system from Green Garden Chicken. The panels I think are 260 watt each. And these ones are a bit smaller. I think they were, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Smaller. This one, I think I got 24 panels up here. 24 of the big ones. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of the smaller ones. That's right. I have a battery bank for my system. And of course, inverter. A big huge inverter. I'll go check it out on the other side. You can see we turned this into like a shed setup. We were hoping it would be a roof. So maybe we could put a wood shed underneath and like outdoor storage thing. But guess what? It leaks <laughs> more than we were hoping. And we've tried everything too. I don't know if you can see, but we tried a weatherproof taping. We tried a caulking glue. And over there on the other ones, we tried it even that spray foam. But nothing really works to seal the gaps perfectly. So we're using it anyway. We got our wood under it. Don't worry, we've never broken any of the solar panels throwing wood around under here. And we did our own wood rack ourselves here. And if you do this, I mentioned before in the other video that even though it's pressure treated for the weather, it's still kind of warped a bit. So um, it probably would have warped less though, I think, if we put a real roof and then the panels on top. Because see how the crack, see the light through it? That probably the water coming through didn't help with the warping of the wood. So maybe it might work better for you if you put a real roof then the panels on because they just don't work as a satisfactory roof. But anyway, project for later. We're not tearing it down anytime soon. So we got the wood under here. And over on this side, we built a little shed that is waterproof for the batteries and the inverter and all that stuff. And it's on right now. I'm running some stuff in the house on it. There's that big Ames inverter here. Oh, it doesn't say what size it is on it gonna tell you because I'm just not clever about that kind of thing. It says it's a 48 volt, 230 volt, whatever that means. <laughs> I'm not a solar girl. I'm just giving it to you so you can see. Let's see. 50, 60 hertz. Can you guys read that? Yeah. Global low frequency inverter and charger. Model number, that's it. Things power. Anyway, it works. We got the whole setup. It included this inverter. It included this, um, this thingy here. <laughs> and let's see. I don't know if you can see very well the back of it here. Anyway, we have it plugged in. This is how we set it up. My husband, genius. He plugged it all in here, wired it. He has the, uh, you guys see that? And then it goes up to these outback power systems. They were included. 
in the system, Flex Max. They have never failed us yet. And we've had this system, you can see how much it's running right now. We've had this system now for a couple of years and still running just perfectly. This is a breaker box my hubby set up. Uh, this was not included in the system, but it might be now. They have upgraded their systems. And these are the batteries. We have in set room two. Running in parallel there. See so a zoom out or a zoom out. I see that. Let's see. Ten batteries in this side and another ten over there. Got twenty batteries in this little thing here. And I have more batteries. Twenty here and I think another fifteen that we have set up in the basement running on the smaller system. Anyway, you have questions, you just leave me a little note below and I'll be happy to answer them or send them to my husband who can answer more than me. Anyway, we just built up our own little shed here to enclose this little section to make sure it didn't get wet, but keep it close enough to the solar panels so we didn't have to buy a ton of cable extra because the cable is expensive. And though it does come with cables in the complete package, if you get it from Green Garden Chicken anyway, you might need more cable depending on how far away your house is from your batteries and inverter. So, again, this is my beautiful system setup down here. We have all the wires running together. And we have the main box here. Mm -hmm. And then, this is our smaller system from the back. Over here, just one big long wall of panels here, and we hooked up the wires, and we fed them all through this uh, PVC pipe. It's going in there, and then under the ground here, because we dug it under the ground to get to the house which is about 30 feet away so we dug this ditch here buried the rest of the wires now we're at the house and it's still under here we're gonna put the wires up on this side and then coming out here you guys can do it like this too it worked awesome this pipe thing is awesome keep the wires going exactly where you want to and not have to worry about anything happening to them under the ground. We just had them all in the PVC pipe underground too. And that's it. Now they go inside here and there's another inverter here inside that was hooked for my smaller set of panels so that we could turn the inverter off from inside the house easily when we were using it. Which I like that because if you put too much on it you could hear the little beep going off. Whereas with the inverter out here I can't hear the beep going off, so if I'm putting too much stress on the system or something, I won't be able to hear it. So we don't like that. <laughs> We're going to be hopefully working on that to get it, uh, what do you call it? There's some kind of a power switch you can buy, but we haven't bought it yet that you can get it to uh, be able to turn it off from inside the house so we wouldn't have to worry about it out here. But I do run everything from my house on these panels and I have a big family in there of nine. I do laundry with a regular washing machine and dryer. I have an oven, just a regular house oven. Although I will be giving you guys some tips on how to conserve your energy and have to have less panels and it will be awesome. So that will be my next video hopefully. But anyway, I do laundry several times a week, at least twice a week. i got nine people in there, so at least twice a week. I cook everything from scratch, tortillas, bread, everything. So I do a lot of cooking and a lot of washing and 
all the appliances we use are all of the regular appliances and this system does it this is more than enough for my family all right um, that's all for now so let me know if you have any questions and I'll be happy to pass them along to my more genius other half <laughs> Alright, make sure you like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to hear. Okay, bye.